If I'm the peach king, that is my peach queen. Modeling? Huh? Modeling? Yeah, how do I look? Are you doing video? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, well you gotta tell me. I figured I in the hole means picture, so I gave you a fucking... I gave you blue steel. No, no, no. Now the internet gets to see blue steel instead? Yep. Whoosh. How's that? Look. <clears throat> People mock my fluff and puff in my workouts, but I do think there's some fitness tips and knowledge being done there. Getting just some blood flow under not heavy loads and easy movements feels great. Like it's good for your joints. Get some blood moving, burn a little calories, not a big deal. Now this is the caveman meal. Cornbread, cornbread, brisket. We just grabbed that. I grabbed a cortado, sipped half of it. Cortado is somewhere between an espresso shot and a cappuccino. And then you go uh, latte, I believe, is the order. So it's like coffee, like just pure coffee, coffee, a little bit of uh, steam milk, coffee, like 50-50, then like 70-40 milk. Just for those coffee snobs out there, I may be wrong, but it's something of that nature. Um, waiting on Omar, the guy who runs the Airbnb is supposed to stop by here. So we're the scouts to make sure that he's gone so we can bring all the crew here. Not just Airbnb is weird, you know, so they only want four people in here at a time or something. I mean, those places gigantic. Um, and then I think we're going to crush a podcast with Furious, Mr. Pete. See what he wants to do. Maybe food, maybe two podcasts. Who knows? I'm going to try to play it by ear. That's something I'm not good at. We'll play it by ear. Connor spilt at least half of my barbecue sauce on his thighs, his fanny pack, and his favorite sweatshirt. So he's crying right now behind the camera, although you can't see him. Michael Jordan meme face right here. It's an event. Yeah, I mean, like, but I've seen, like, I'm pretty sure I've seen, like, every movie. Oh, okay. Every Star Wars movie. Yeah. I'm a content fucking machine. Machine. Man versus machine. If I was in the Matrix, I'd be that weird worm thing because I'm a goddamn content machine. Look at him. He's working. Big D's checking out the fucking angles. They're writing a full script. I'm posting to Instagram. You're vlogging. We have cameras in every corner of the fucking building. We got like six vlogs going on at once. <laughs> Show me YouTubers that do it better. Show me some. Comment below. Who does it better? Yeah, Max Tuning. <laughs> Keith, man. All right. They do it pretty good, too. They do it pretty good. Casey nice that. Yeah, he's good, too. We get it. We fucking get it. Uh, Bitch, like we get it. it. The view is the best part of my work. You know what would be a funny uh, uh, line for this? We go town to identity. If I'm the Peach King, that is my Peach Queen. How's uh, the diet go? I think that's the equivalent of kissing with camera lenses. Sometimes it is obviously a benefit if you can get into a good position, but sometimes it can be a negative because you're not focusing on the little things. Uh, and for you, on your bench, your motor pattern is just off a little bit. We're locking out those knees a little bit too early, and then you're turning it into a stiff leg. So let's tell me maybe one of two things. So one is we want to really get tension in those hamstrings when we're grabbing the barbell, right? We want no slack in our entire system. People talk about pulling the slack in the system. barbell, which is a fine thing. That doesn't make any sense. Into, but we want no slack in our entire system. No so slack. Kind of yanking on the bar, but we want to last tight or back tight, and we want tension in our hamstrings. Tension. So to a bit He's basically talking about pull. sexual frustration. Okay.
Long day of filming. Two videos down? Half a wave of skit. One podcast. I don't know what else. But we're getting it done. Pulled 585 for five pretty fast. Yeah. Two days after a heavy day of day. Yeah. What's this guy doing? I got weird friends. I got weird friends. Daily vlogs, you should pull a Vitaly and Mike, you should streak onto the court. Viral. 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 I'm viral. Are you paying me out of prison? No, I'm talking for your own channel, bro. I know, but then you go to jail. Right, and then you get butt sex. Who gets, me, sex, out? Who and gets then, me out? Who gets huh? me out? Let's no, go. you stay in there and you become the king of the prison. Um, I'd rather just be king of free world. Well, if you want, like, look at the vlogs that do well. I don't think you can huh. daily vlog from prison. So that'd be one vlog, and then I'd be in prison for a while, and then the vlogs no, would no, of stop. No, Connor would bring his fucking road bike into the prison, like when he interviews you, and you give your update of like who killed who. I have who heard who, who who's selling the drugs, which guards are corrupt, whatever. I have heard Canadian jails are soft. Yeah. So oh. so they could sneak uh, counter in. Ooh. Wow. What are you looking at? I'm not very impulsive, but we're he's being impulsive. At one face. He's just looking at your face to study how you do prison. Connor, do you think you'd be a prison bitch, or do you think you'd be someone that's running prison? A lone wolf. A lone wolf. Oh, good answer. Option three, sir. Myself, All of the above. If the prison was rough, I'd probably get myself locked. In he obviously wants to be in the vlog now. Before he didn't want to be, and he's yelling at you. Now he wants to be in the thing. No. Talk about him raping. I, no, I, I know that uh, Connor's filming no matter what. Like he'll film 20 minutes of footage to use three seconds. So I'm just talking. You can film it if you want. You can not film it. it. You can use none you of me. To leave too. Nope. I'm staying in here. This is now my place. I'm kicking out Marty or whatever his name was. Mark. I'm not very impulsive, but we bought some Raptors tickets. I'm a big Cleveland Cavaliers fan, and they're in town. Just happened to be game one, round two of the playoffs. I've never been to a playoff game, so me and Connor are going. Off. I don't care who wins, but really, oh, you mean this game? Like, well, just in general, because the Raptors suck and the Cavaliers are going to win the whole series. It doesn't really matter what happens tonight. Yeah, you're rooting for Cleveland, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, there's so much a better team. Like it's almost in the bag. Why isn't Omar going? Because they're antisocial and they want sleep, which is fair. I'm a sleeper, so I don't. Uh, uh, Look, because I started a business, and I started a dream, and I want that dream to succeed. In order for that to happen, I need my beauty sleep. Guess how many hours I need? 16. About 12. It's about 12. That's what I need. If you want me at my best, I need 12. Get you 12 hours. Let's so I'm going right. home. Probably going to watch some Trailer Park Boys. And away we go. How do I look? Like death? Comes up by two? That's how last night was. Literally the worst night's sleep I've had in my entire life. Entire life. That's true. It was hot. Maybe that didn't help because it's a muggy back there. There's no window. But I swear at some point I might have had the highest fever I've ever had. I felt like I was in a tanning booth on just like my head and I had a sinus headache. I was trying to rub my own head to sleep. That's true. It was so bad. And, and then I think it was storming last night, yeah? Um. Or I was hearing things. Either I went psychotic or there was a storm. And that woke me up every 10 minutes. I think you're hearing things. Dude, it's 100% possible. My head and body, and it got so achy. Uh, a scratchy throat for me sometimes just goes away because it's like maybe I snored that night. Or maybe there was like... A weird air on or we podcasted so much but this time scratchy throat means i'm dying bye canada yeah i'm gonna go maybe get to the airport early we leave in three hours or so i guess four hours so i'll grab a get through customs early get connor some food give me some nyquil maybe gatorade or some shit head back home and then i'll probably sleep for five days straight and then we'll see where we end up bye canada uh -huh.